Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here with a quick video on the LCD mod. This one's going to be a little bit more in depth. I'm going to show you how to basically make it. So, um, basically what you're going to re require is a DIN kit. This is a best kits one, I believe. And, basically what you're going to need to do with it is you will have, of course, your screen. And this is, of course, how it mounts. It just slips in here then ties in with two screws and you angle it and stuff like that beautiful something anyways so we're gonna pull this out it's really easy just the two screws now as you can see what I've done here is it's the stock sleeve from your deck uh, that comes with your stair or with your car and you're basically gonna be cutting it and hacking it up and you're going to be hacking up your DIN kit. Now I'm going to try and show you some really clear cuts that I had to make to do it. As you can see I've cut some stuff here and if you go around I've uh, cut some I've had to notch to make everything work perfectly to fit into the dash. I can't really remember every single cut that I made but as you can see here I have bent stuff to make it hold better I had this to help hold better. This, and uh, when you're done, you will no longer have a DIN sleeve. What happens is you can see here, um, your deck will go into this sleeve and pop out the front. And when you do, you will bolt the deck in instead with the screw holes on the side of the deck. You could probably use this with the screws that come out of your radio because those screws will work because they're metal screws and you can bolt your uh, stereo in with that so after you've bolted your stereo in yeah I'm just gonna take off these two screws so maybe I can show you a little bit more in depth on the cutting I had to do of the stock portion I didn't want to do this off video because getting it back together might be fun and I figure I might as well show you what it looks like in one piece. So, first off, let's get this out. As you can see, these plastic screws come with. Yay. You'll be able to see that I did a lot of notching to be able to uh, make this all work. But it's kind of cool if you look at my uh, Mazda 3 setup video, you can see that's where it all sparked everyone was asking me how did that work so as you can see this folds up and the pocket probably comes out let's see what we can do here okay bang that plate comes off bang. let's see if I can get this plate out so I'm going to show you both plates in depth now as you can see here notched That's the right side. Takes a little bit of hacking, but as you can see here, more hacking. Just getting it all perfectly. And so, before I go into that, this is the main piece. As you can see, it's just been scraped up. I've had to edge some in here. Let's see if I can get a better light on this. It's just mainly getting it to work around it. I did have to trim a bit of the top to make this work. That shows you about how much. And here is the actual metal piece from which I took from the uh, stock deck. So this is another one. I'll hold out here and try and give you a shot of each side. So that way you can shape it the same. Once again, this is just from the stock uh, CD player that was in the Mazda originally. 
it's a little bit of trimming, a little bit of bending. It usually just takes, literally I think all I used was channel locks and a set of tin snips. You could probably just use a good cutter. But pretty easy. Anyways, if you have any questions at all, feel free to uh, give me a message or just comment in the comment section below and I will help you the best I can. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out. Have a great day.